In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss the character customizer. It's a feature of the toolkit that lets you create little scenes uh, very quickly for research or just for demonstration or debug, whatever you want. The first step is to launch a Unity renderer from the launcher. So you have it open here. We don't want to run everything, so we'll hit advanced, come down here, uh, make a few setting changes. I want to just force this to 720p. I don't need it full screen, and I don't need to see the intro, so I'm just going to click to launch the renderer. Now that everything's loaded, you can see Rachel and Brad. I'm going to hit C to bring up the menu, and then I'm going to select Load Customizer. This will switch the UD scene to the customizer's splash screen comes up. Now we have Brad on a lovely background. We can change that if we like, but first we need to launch the customizer itself. If we go back to the launcher, here at the bottom of the first tab, there's the character customizer. Click to launch. Pop right up. Come back over here. Just make a little room. Won't need the launcher for now. So now if we look at the character customizer, there's a number of different options. First, though, I'm going to listen to its suggestion, which is please launch modules. If you look for status indications up in the upper right, it's just like VH Builder. First, go to System, Launch All. It's bringing up the text-to-speech, nonverbal behavior, all of that. Those windows should automatically disappear. And now we're left with Brad and the interface. I'm going to go through the options real quick. Here we have, you know, just a typical file menu with projects, save, load, etc. There was our system. We just launch all the components. And then here in the options, you can change the lip sync. You can change the video recording codec. We'll just use MJPEG for now. You can render out all the videos you've recorded already, or we can convert them automatically when we record them. We'll leave that checked. And of course, I'm going to just set the always gaze at camera. That means that whenever we change the camera down here, Brad will automatically look at it. For example, if we go to a different shot, Brad will look at the camera. Speaking of Brad, you can change your character up here at the top. Just select one and hit set. Same thing with the background. I like the one we have now, so we'll stick to that. So now let's go ahead and give Brad something to say. How about H tool kit? Hit enter to save that. Let's see what it sounds like. This is a demonstration of the VH2 kit. Sounds all right. We can change the text to speech down here, or of course record our own audio. For now, I'm happy with the text to speech. Maybe change his facial expression. Hmm, don't worry, Brad. Everything will work out. Ah, much better. When we make manual adjustments, I can come to this Fax tab. This is the Facial Action Coding System. It lets you adjust the various uh, facial action units. Hmm, that's a little funny. So why don't we go ahead and just set him back to his neutral face. If you'd like to know more about Fax or Ekman Action Units, it's really worth checking out. Just go ahead and look on the Toolkit website or Google it. Now I'm going to record Brad saying my new line. Just hit the record button. This is a demonstration of the VH2 kit. Looks pretty good. When I hit stop, since I set it to automatically encode to MP4, this window will pop up. It will quickly re-encode the video. You can actually see what frame you're on and how quickly it's going. Since it was a short video that only took a couple seconds, I actually have one I prepared earlier. Let me go ahead and play this. This is a demonstration of the VH2 kit. Looks good, and the one I just made. This is a demonstration of the VH2 kit. You can see I don't have any gazes or camera moves or anything set up. Just a simple demonstration of Brad talking. The MP4s that come out of this look great on YouTube, and if you have any questions, hit us up on the Google group. Or check it out at vhtoolkit.ict.usc.edu.